Get ready to supercharge your body's healing ability with nitric oxide. This isn't just another molecule, it's the secret weapon your body needs for peak performance and recovery in every aspect of your health. Did you know that nitric oxide is the driving force behind your circulation and cardiovascular health? It's also the rocket fuel for your nerve impulses and the ultimate defender of your immune system. And that's not all. It's even the key to enhancing your sex life. But here's the kicker. As we age, our nitric oxide levels take a nosedive, leaving us in the wake of declining health with each passing year. So buckle up for part two of our nitric oxide series, where I'll reveal the top strategies for revving up your body's nitric oxide production, and I'll introduce you to the nitric oxide challenge. So get ready to unleash the full potential of your nervous system, skyrocket your cardiovascular health, fortify your immune system, and hey, maybe even ignite a spark in your love life. Believe me, gang, this is the game-changing information you've been waiting for. Don't blink, don't even blink, because you don't want to miss a second. Coming up. Hey, health warriors, Dr. M here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy and start living again, then subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now let's rev things up. Chances are you've already heard about the essential role nitric oxide plays in our health. But have you wondered why we're suddenly hearing so much about nitric oxide? Well, science is now showing us how critical it is to every cell in our body. In fact, in 1992, it was voted molecule of the year. For example, your nerve cells in both the central nervous system, remember that your brain and spinal cord and your peripheral nervous system rely upon nitric oxide production to assist in nerve signal transmissions. NO also protects neurons from damage and regulates nerve growth, development, and repair. It helps improve blood flow in the brain and balances neurotransmitter release. Not to mention, it plays a critical role in the health and recovery of mitochondria. However, nitric oxide's role in your body goes far beyond the health of your nerves. Nitric oxide production is crucial for a healthy cardiovascular system. It's also absolutely necessary for immune function because it combats pathogens. And don't forget, it's a key player in enhancing athletic performance. Most people have heard about nitric oxide's role in erectile function, but did you know it actually plays a much larger role in reproduction? For instance, it improves sperm quality and motility, and it helps the oocyte or the immature female egg bind better to the sperm. There's a widespread occurrence of nitric oxide deficiencies, which science is finally acknowledging. There are many lifestyle factors that deplete nitric oxide, and as a result, the NO production in our bodies drastically declines with each passing decade. Now, Dr. C discusses this in his video, Nitric Oxide Destroyers, but it's so crucial that I'm going to take a few minutes to briefly go over this again. By the time men reach 40 years old, their nitric oxide production has diminished by 50%, which is part of the reason we're finding more and more men in their 40s experiencing erectile dysfunction. The fourth decade isn't quite as bad for women who experience a 15% reduction. However, by the time both men and women reach their 50s, they're almost neck and neck. An average female's NO production will decrease by 65%, and a 50-year-old man will have a drop-off of 70%. And by the time both sexes reach their 70s, there is little to no nitric oxide production in the body. So make sure you watch Nitric Oxide Destroyers so you know what's depleting your NO levels. I'll leave a link for you below. Now, today's video is all about empowering you to safely and easily raise your nitric oxide production. If you're already experiencing health challenges, this could be the game changer in your recovery. So let's look at the first and most affordable step to increase your NO production. Implement nitric oxide boosting foods. The first food you want to add to your diet is radishes. These roots pack a powerhouse of health benefits and will most definitely skyrocket your NO production while supporting your liver health.
Radishes contain many powerful antioxidants, including CoQ10, and they're rich in vitamins and minerals. For maximum benefit, you should add half a cup or 10 to 12 radishes per day into your diet. You can add them to salads, sandwiches, or wraps, dip them in hummus or guacamole. You can even roast them. Now, Let's look at leafy greens. The first one I want to spotlight is arugula, which is known by different names in other countries. In England, Australia, and New Zealand, it's called rocket. And in Italy, it's called rucola. This leafy green packs a mighty punch for nitric oxide production. With its distinct peppery flavor, you can use this green in salads, sandwiches, in soups, or sauces, or throw it into your omelets. Next on our list are beetroots and beet juice. This red beauty will definitely boost your nitric oxide levels while supplying you with a ton of antioxidants. Beets are also great liver detoxifiers, especially when drinking fresh beet juice. We have a great beet juice recipe that we named Red Punch. We'll leave a link for that recipe down below. Okay, let's look at some favorite herbs. Cilantro is one of our favorite nitric oxide boosters. Cilantro resembles flat leaf parsley, but has a distinct citrusy aroma. This herb is high in antioxidants and vitamins A, C, K, folate, and a few minerals. But here's what I absolutely love about cilantro. Besides boosting NO, it's been shown to decrease the absorption of heavy metals in the body while enhancing heavy metal excretion out of the body. In our house, we usually go through three to four bundles a week along with a pound to a pound and a half of arugula. The next herb that will raise your nitric oxide production is fresh mint. This herb is incredibly easy to grow, but be careful, it's an aggressive grower and will try to take over your garden. But it's a potent NO producer. There are so many things you can do with mint, from steeping it to make fresh hot or cold tea. You can make ice cubes from the tea mixture and place them in your water, or chop fresh mint and mix it into your salads. Okay, back to our greens. The next powerhouses are butterleaf lettuce, spring greens, and basil. I do realize basil is an herb, but I grouped it here simply because it doesn't produce as much nitric oxide as mint and cilantro. Eating any or all of these greens and basils on a regular basis will definitely boost your nitric oxide production. Did you know bok choy also contains a wallop for NO production? This veggie is part of the cabbage family, and I love stir-frying it with tamari sauce, garlic, and ginger. You can also use raw bok choy leaves in salads or sandwiches. The last green that boosts NO is Swiss chard, which can be steamed or sautéed. It's great in soups, stews, or casseroles, and it tastes great in frittatas and quiches. Both of these are egg dishes. Now, there are many more vegetables than the ones I mentioned that will raise nitric oxide levels, but the veggies on this list will give you the largest boost in your NO production. Now, let's look at a different way to incre increase nitric oxide production. Increasing your antioxidant intake will automatically increase NO production, and here's why. Nitric oxide is an unstable molecule that breaks down very quickly in the bloodstream. Research has shown that blood vessels can only store NO for approximately one and a half to two minutes before it breaks down. So it has to be constantly replenished in order to raise your levels. Clinical studies reveal that consuming a diet high in antioxidants or taking antioxidant supplements increases the stability of nitric oxide and limits its breakdown, resulting in high nitric oxide levels and reserves. This is why it's so important to consume at least five cups of non-starchy vegetables daily, along with low sugar fruits, like any kind of berries, lemons, limes, apples, watermelon, and even cantaloupe. You'll also find a ton of antioxidants in ginger and turmeric. Another way to boost your nitric oxide production without food is exercise. Regular exercise keeps the inner lining of your blood vessels called the endothelium healthy. Healthy endothelium is critical because it's where nitric oxide is produced. Studies have shown that exercise also increases antioxidant activity, which we already discussed will inhibit the breakdown of nitric oxide. So this means you'll have more NO and it will stick around much longer. 
Now, don't worry, you don't have to perform high impact or high exertion exercises like cardio aerobics, HIIT or weightlifting, although any of these will definitely boost NO. Simply incorporating low impact exercises or stretches like yoga or Tai Chi will increase your NO production. Passive stretching, the form of stretching where you stay in one position for a set amount of time, increases the blood flow to muscles, which also enhances NO production and nitric oxide release as well. You can also do breathing techniques like Brahmari Pranayama, also known as the humming bee breath. This technique is powerfully effective in raising your NO levels, and this is what it looks like. Sit in any comfortable posture. Keep your spine comfortably erect. Close the eyes with index fingers, mouth with ring and small fingers, and ears from respective thumbs. This is also called Shanmukhi Mudra. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner, making a deep humming sound. Repeat it for four more rounds. For a more simplified technique, you can simply plug your ears and begin humming with your mouth closed. Research studies have shown that when you hum, you increase the production of nitric oxide by 15 times. But probably the most impactful breath technique to exponentially raise NO levels is the Wim Hof breathing technique. This technique was developed by an extreme athlete who holds dozens of world records for feats such as running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle wearing only shorts and climbing the highest mountains in the world in shorts. And these are just a few of his records. Well, Wim Hof is renowned for his scientific breakthrough with his breathwork techniques, which have been well-researched and proven to be efficacious for many health disorders. The principle of the breathing exercises involves performing a series of controlled rapid deep inhalations followed by passive exhalations done in cycles. After a cycle, the individual exhales all the air from their lungs and holds their breath. The breath hold can start with a simple 30 seconds, with the individual working their way up to a breath hold spanning a few minutes. Following the breath hold, the individual takes a deep recovery breath and holds it for a short period before exhaling. These cycles are then repeated multiple times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go with the flow of the breath. In, out. Five more. Let's give it all we got. Last one. Pull in and let go. All right. 30 seconds breath hold from now on. Be in this moment. Let the body do what the body is capable of doing. Be aware of your heartbeat. Slow it down and just be in this moment. Okay. Recovery breath in, five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and hold for 15 seconds. Exhale in three, two, one. Let it go. Now here's what's truly great about incorporating the Wim Hof breathing technique. As I already mentioned, it's been shown to drastically enhance NO production, but there are several more benefits, 
It helps with pain management. This breath work modulates the body's stress response, which may offer relief for those with chronic pain. It also increases energy levels and improves focus and mental clarity. The Wim Hof breathing technique has also been shown to reduce stress and anxiety, and it may enhance immune function, leading to decreased infections and reduced inflammation. So there you have it, health warriors. You're now equipped to take charge of your health like never before. By understanding the critical role of nitric oxide and implementing the strategies in this video, you're not just enhancing your vitality, you're igniting a health revolution within your body. But why stop there? I challenge you to take the nitric oxide challenge. It's simple and won't cost any additional money. First, commit to integrating nitric oxide builders into your diet every day. Start eating radishes, arugula, beets, and any of the other vegetables I've mentioned. Second, incorporate some form of regular exercise into your life, even if you're only capable of doing the neuropathy exercises or chair yoga. Third, practice the effective and powerful breathing techniques like Brahmari Pranayama, the humming bee breath, or the Wim Hof method. By taking this challenge, you're not only investing in your own health, but also inspiring others to do the same. Remember, it's not just about living, it's about thriving. It's about reclaiming your energy, your strength, and your joy for life. So embrace these tools, integrate them into your daily routine, and watch as your health transforms before your very eyes. And make sure you drop a comment to let me know how your nitric oxide challenge is going. And hey, if you found this information valuable, please don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends, your family, your community. Let's empower the health of as many people as possible far and wide. Together, we can all reclaim our health. Until next time, my dear friends, stay strong, stay inspired, and I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. With its distinct peppery flavor, you can use, use this green in salads, sandwiches, and soups or sausage. <laughs> not sausage. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to eat sausage. <laughs> That's a dirty keto. <laughs> All right, let's go back.